Recording. Hey, YouTubers. Mo here from Mo's Motorcycle Journey. Seems like I always got something going on. And it seems like it just happens to me. Well, anyways, it's been kind of my luck lately. And I mean, not that bad of luck, but, you know, nothing we can't handle. Whoa, might want to take it easy. Got a brand new back tire on there. Only got 13 miles on her. Uh, yeah. Got to tell you what, what happened. What's been going on in my neck of the woods the last few days. OMG. Stick around and check this out. Start the intro. Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. Ah, uh, if you just stumbled across my channel, click that subscribe button. Should be about right there. You can use that, uh, ring that YouTube bell notification. YouTube will let you know every time I upload a video. That being said, so guys, I don't know why these trucks are piggybacking like that. Guys, I gotta tell you, I, I can't believe this happened to me. Uh, I just recently changed out my rear tire, and yeah, it uh, it didn't didn't go good. Um, so I, I noticed prices were gonna spike. So I was like, you know, if prices are gonna spike, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, pick up a tire as quick as I can. This was back in February, you know, because I I was. Uh, hit my cruise control. I was gonna have. I was gonna have. Uh, I was gonna have the rear changed. You know, no big deal. I mean, I had eight thousand miles on the rear, and and I know everyone's like Dunlops are good. I do not have good luck with a Dunlop. I I don't know what is wrong with people that ride Gold Wings SA Dunlop Elite. That's a good tire. No, 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 no. I'm telling you guys, no. Uh, and and I'm not one for other brands other than a Bridgestone. But I got to tell you what happened here. So I I my tire came in back in February, and I get ready to. You know, I told David, uh, it was, let's see, this was uh, Sunday, last week Sunday. I'm like, oh, it's a beautiful day. Let me go out there and change this tire. Get that taken care of. You know, I got the Bridgestone sitting in my spare bedroom. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be perfect. So I go out there, jack up the bike. I had to go back to the, the uh, barn to get the lift because I had it on another motorcycle, another Goldwing. But... Anyways, I, I just blocked that one up with wood. Uh, so I'm, I get the lift, jack the bike up, yank off the rear tire, and go ahead, get my tools out, start doing my thing, get that tire off, as you'll see in some of the clips there. Get the new tire, go to put this thing on there, and let me tell you, this thing was going on like butter. I was like, man, I am good at changing tires. It was like click, click. And there it was, and then I stood it up, and I said, wait a minute, something ain't right. And the rim kind of like, bloop, fell right back out. I'm like, whoa, 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 that's not how it's supposed to be. So I look at the tire size, and it's a 17-inch tire, not a 16 You serious? So after a few choice words that I used for about 45 minutes and kind of beating myself on the head stating that's rule of thumb I say to anybody before you tear something apart make sure you got the right parts to put it back together. I say it all the time. Practice what you preach. So that being said, yes, I did it to myself. So long story short, I'm like, uh, I gotta order another tire. I figured I'd just call Paw Paw Cycle, which is Honda dealer in Paw Paw, Michigan. They're, they're not too far from me. 
I'm like, oh, let me give them a call Monday. Maybe I can get a tire. So I give them a call and they say, welcome to Paul Paul Cycle. Right now we are closed. Our business hours are from Tuesday, 8 a.m. And I was right there. I just hung up because I'm like, I don't even need to hear the hours at this point. Monday was raining, but it's like I do not like the fact that my bike is jacked up in my shed. Got to strap down all different nine different places because I'm afraid that the bike's going to fall over. I got to get past this truck. I'm afraid the bike's going to fall over, you know, and it's like I. So, but anyways, uh, that that wasn't going to work. And so I got on the horn. The closest place that I could find <laughs> for a tire was 120 miles away. Now, I'm like, okay, it's that important to me. I'm ready to go get this tire. I'll go. I'll do it. I don't care what I got to do. I'm going to get this tire and get this tire put on this bike and get this bike on the ground because it's just killing me. I got to ride my motorcycle. And I was like, well... Let me see if I can start searching towards the south. See if I can find a tire. And uh, lo and behold, uh, my craps and giggles, I decided to give uh, a Harley place a call. It, it showed up, um, I think it was Gilson's Harley Davidson. Gilson's Motorcycle Shop. And I gotta tell you. I, <laughs> he said he had a tire, but he had two of them in stock. Uh, Dunlop, sorry, took me a minute to force that word out of my mouth, and a Shinko. And I wasn't interested in either, but I've never had a Shinko. So it's like, you know, I haven't heard bad things about a Shinko. Let's give it a try course it was a hundred dollars cheaper than the Dunlop which was way overpriced and no I didn't tell him I was a Goldwing owner I just said hey you got a tire I'm looking for this certain size tire so uh, I take it down there oh I go down there to get the tire and for just curiosity I threw my room in the trunk and I get down there and I say to the guy I'm like he rolls out the tire and he says this is what I got for you Brand new, Shinko. Show a little clip with it mounted. Rims dirty as crap. And I'm like, all right, you know, that'll work. I said, uh, can you mount this today? And he says, well, I'm a one-man shop. I says, well, can you mount it? Well, I tell you what, if you, you, you give me until about 4 o'clock, I'll have it mounted and balanced for you. I said, cool beans. I don't even care what he was going to charge me to mount it. All I did was give him a rim. I didn't even care. It was like, I'll pay you $100, dude. I'll pay you $150. Just get the tire put on the rim and get it back to me. ASAP. Uh, and I just need to practice some patience because I... <laughs> I don't know. Some, I don't know if you guys can understand, but when your motorcycle's not working, or when something's wrong, when you can't ride it, you know, it's like, oh no, 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 no. Those are those are fighting words right there. Don't don't do that to me. I I will hurt somebody. Uh, so, anyways, he helped me out, hooked me up, got the tire, put it on last night. We are riding it today. I got. Oh, 25 miles on it now, 28 miles. I, I usually take it easy the first 50 miles with a new tire. But let me just tell you from the get-go about a Shinko. My motorcycle has been making this strange noise for a long time. And I've heard it on some people's videos. And it's, it's a tire noise. And I guarantee you, if I hear that again, I'm going to say to the person, I bet you got Dunlops on your motorcycle. And they're going to go, how did you know? I'm going to say, because I can hear them when you ride it. Now, I do not like Dunlops. I don't know what everyone's fuss about Dunlops are. That thing, I'd lean that thing and it... 
I mean, it was grinding, it felt like. I thought, I thought there was something wrong with my motorcycle. Just a tire. I'll give you something else. It's smoother. My motorcycle is smooth. It's never rode this smooth. I bought it with 12,100 miles on it, and it has never rode this smooth. And it had brand new Dunlops on it when I got it. And it's never rode this smooth. Can't say Shinko's a great tire because I've only had it for 30 miles, 28 miles. But I will tell you what, guys, certainly is a lot different than the Dunlop that I had on. My motorcycle is smoother, it's quieter. I don't hear noise when I'm. I pulled in the clutch earlier and I was like, geez, is it even running? I didn't even know it was running. And that's all the noise I've been hearing is those dang Dunlops. So I'm sorry if you like Dunlops, guys, but that's just my take on them. I've done this before uh, years ago, and I was like, I'll never put another Dunlop on. I bought the motorcycle. The dealer put Dunlops on. There wasn't nothing I could do about it, but I'll never do that again. I will, if I ever buy a motorcycle that's used like this one, I'll be like telling the dealer right off the bat, don't you dare put a Dunlop on that bike. I will, that's, that's a deal breaker right there. Don't you dare do it. That's, that's what I'm going to tell the dealer going forward. Uh, anyways, something else that I've noticed. My motorcycle, after I got it, I've had it maybe 2,000 miles, 2,500 miles. I would slow down right around anywhere under 40 to maybe 20. And if I let go of the steering wheel, the, the handlebars would start to shake. And it, it would just be a little minor at first. And then it would get worse and worse. And, of course, I would grab back on because I don't know how bad that's going to get. And I remember reading someone said once that you might, might want to check your rear tire for that. Now, I know you can sit here and say, well, that doesn't make any sense. Go ahead. Say it. But the thing don't shake no more at all all from the rear tire didn't do anything with my front it's still a dunlop i just can't do a dunlop rear so that being said guys i'm not on here to dog dunlop don't get me wrong i just noticed bad things from my dunlop tire and it wasn't like it was the first hundred miles defective tire or nothing i ran the thing eight thousand miles and I just was unhappy with it. I mean, even in my intro video, when I had 1,100 miles on that tire, I filmed an intro video, and I can hear it in the intro video. You know, you guys can't because I, I, I put music over it, but I can hear I can hear it in the intro video so next time i see that on somebody's video i'm, I'm gonna tell them hey you got a dunlop on there i guarantee it and and it's weird because it sounded like the noise was coming from the front and it was all that back tire so that's a lot of things that that back tire solved on my gold wing uh and, and not that i thought it was dangerous or i was getting some serious issues with it just there's a lot of things that were coming into play with that dunlop tire with it being cupped the way it was. I can't believe that it created a head shake in the front to where it, the handlebars would start to shake if I let go of the steering wheel. I mean, this bike has never rode this smooth. And like I said, I, I bought it with 12,100 miles on it and I've never had this bike drive this smooth. So that being said, guys, don't forget to I guess I'm not paying attention. Uh, don't forget to... <laughs> you can always email me at molesmotorcyclejourney at gmail.com. Sorry, dude. Sorry, I'm not going fast enough for you. Just riding in cruise control. Uh, should be on the bottom of the screen there. And if you like this video, give yourself a thumbs up. Uh, other than that, you guys, don't forget. If you don't make the choice, the choice makes you. You guys have a good one. Talk to you soon.